Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath. Uh, today's video is a Transdermal Drug Delivery System, TDDS. Here, we are transporting the drug into the patient's body. Inside the patient's body, we are transporting through the skin. Through the skin. We are not going to cut the skin. Okay, our skin will be remain like that only, patient skin. But however, we are transporting a drug through the skin into the systemic circulation. Okay, right. That we will see how this uh, wonderful concept and all we will uh, enjoy. So, this in this part one, I have covered the, these topics. Uh, okay, permeation through skin factors affecting the skin permeation, permeation enhancers. Okay, and here what I am showing, these are the not transdermal patches. Okay, this is handy plast for local infection, small wounds, cuts. Okay, for those purposes, we are using this regular wash proof. All these are the handy plasts. Most of the students are confusing that all these handy plasts are also transdermal patches like that they are confusing. So here I have shown the clear cut difference between the band-aid, okay, okay, and as well as a transdermal patch. Both are almost looks like same. This is also patch, this is also patches, okay. But however, these band-aid only for the local action. Okay, only onto the skin surface of the skin we are going to be apply skin infection, wounds, skin cuts, any injuries to the skin. Okay, like that. Whereas uh, these here transdermal patch, there the drugs do not show any local action. We are giving for a systemic circulation. Okay, for the hormones, antibiotics, painkillers, we are giving through the transdermal patches. Here, the drug do not crosses the skin. Here, drug crosses the skin. Here, drugs do not enter into the blood circulation or system circulation. Whereas here, drug enters into the blood circulation. That's why this is called as a transdermal. Transport of the drug through the skin dermal. So this is a patch. Like that, you can easily understand. Transport of a drug through the skin. Okay, right. And this is the syllabus, what the topics I have covered here, introduction, permeation through the skin, factors affecting the permeation, permeation enhancers, all are very, very important and compulsory question for your regular examination. It is a mandatory, mandatory, mandatory. Okay, very important. <clears throat> so this is my mobile app. You can be find all my notes, all my presentations in the PDF format in the my mobile app. You can be download it from the Google Play Store. Open the app and go to the store option here. Here, uh, see the mark. Okay, red mark, store option. There I have kept all my B form, C, M form, C form, D presentations according to the subject wise. And this is about my YouTube channel. Go to the playlist in the YouTube channel playlist. I have arranged all the subject wise. If you click on the subject, you will get a topic wise. Okay, all the topics. Yeah, introduction, first of all, we will see the introduction. You can see here, this is a skin structure. Transdermal patch here, uh, I have attached to the skin. I attach the transdermal patch to the patient's body. Here, the drug molecules are there. This is nothing but a patch. Okay, right. And this is a skin, we know that first of all, foremost is a striatum corneum, very dead tissue, highly keratinized dead tissue, striatum corneum. It is a big challenge for the drug to transport. This is the biggest barrier. Very difficult for the drug molecule to cross this layer, stratum corneum. Then epidermis. This is called as epidermis. Do not have any blood vessels. Any blood vessels. Blood vessels will start from the dermis. See here, dermis. And adipose tissue, fat tissue starts from the uh, fat subcutaneous tissue. Okay, like that. Epidermis. Dermis, subcutaneous tissue, stratum corneum. Okay, right. Now, what happened here? See, the drug molecules will enter like this through the skin. Okay, and again it enters into epidermis and enters into the dermis. In the dermis, it again it enters into the blood vessel. See here, all these are the blood vessel, so that it will be entered or it travels along with the blood. It enters into the systemic circulation, just like a tablet capsule, how it, the drug will be entered into the systemic circulation in the same fashion. Definition, transdermal drug delivery system, it is a type of drug delivery system that facilitates the passage of the 
therapeutic quantities of the drug through the skin. See here, through the skin into the systemic effects. These are the painless method. Painless, there is no pain, just like an injection. But here there is no pain, there is no needle. Okay. Drug formulation, that is a patch we are applying onto the skin or to the healthy skin. It avoids the first post metabolism also. Dose termination is also possible. Whenever you will get a relief from the a pain, you can remove the paracetamol patch from your skin. Dose termination is possible, whereas it is not possible in case of a tablet. Dolo 650, once you have taken, it will be enter dissolved. Even though disease, you cannot take out the paracetamol. Here it is not like that. Dose termination is possible. Okay. Drug permeation through the skin. Here I have given the detailed steps. Release of air from the base material, diffuses through the striatum corneum, diffuses to the epidermis, dermis, migration into capillary vessels. All these you have to write into the um, examination. You present my, as my presentation, you have to write same as. So you definitely will get a distinction. Same presentation. Roots of drug absorption through the skin. See here, <clears throat> there is a mainly a two roots are there. Trans epidermal. Trans epidermal. This is again two types. Transcellular. Here you can see transcellular through the cell. Whatever it may be straight. Either cell is there, cell nucleus. Whatever it may be straight forward. Straight forward. This is called a transcellular through the cells. Whereas a second one is a paracellular. Here you can see this is called a paracellular. This red mark transcellular. This is an intercellular, also called as a paracellular. Here you can see intercellular between the cell, intracellular within the cell, within the cell, okay? Like the paracellular or intercellular between the cells. This is a major, see here, like that, major root. Here thickness, see the thickness, red color, minor. This is a major root. Most of the drug molecules will be transported like this. Here I have given the examples also, lipophilic drugs, so hydrophilic drugs. So. Next is trans appendicial, appendix, just like a pore, uh, holes will be there, holes, like a sebaceous gland, hairs, hair follicle will be there, hair follicle attached with the sebaceous gland. So along with the sides of the uh, hair, there will be one small hole will be there. Through that, drug will be transported. Uh, and uh, so this is via hair follicles. Next is via the sweat glands. You see here, this is a sweat gland. See, don't get confusion between the sweat gland, sebaceous gland. This secretes the sebum, gum-like structure. This is a sweating water, water here. Yeah. Water-like material will be come out from the skin. Very, very important all these are. The, and the kinetic, see, here I have applied the transdermal patch. I have taken the one centimeter square. This is a stratum cardium, epidermis, dermis will be there. C2 is nothing but a concentration of a drug present in the patch. C1 is a concentration of a drug present in the blood. C2 minus C1 is equal to delta C. J is nothing but a flux. C, very, very important term, flux. J is equal to flux. What is the flux? Amount of the drug. Amount of, it is amount to mg grams or whatever it may be, amount of the drug permeated through the one centimeter square of the skin, one centimeter square of the skin in the unit T time. Okay, here D diffusion coefficient, uh, you can be calculated the flux delta C, delta C, C2 minus C1, delta C, X is nothing but a thickness of the skin. Greater the thickness, lesser the permeation. Yeah, factors affecting the skin permeation, all the two types are there, physicochemical factors, biological factors we will be completed. These are the factors which are related to the drug molecule, drug formulation, uh, like a patch, skin contact, environment, etc. And all, all these lists you have to write and biological factors, factors which is related to the patient, patient skin condition. This list is very, very important. You have to write and each one by one we will see now. Physicochemical factors. First one, drug concentration in the patch. See here, I have taken a two patches. Here I have kept in this patch low amount of the drug, low drug concentration. So absorption is also slow. Here what I did is high drug molecule, number of high drug molecules I have kept in that. So faster absorption will be there. Higher the concentration, higher the drug concentration in the patch, faster the absorption. 
Next is area of the application. Here I have applied to the small area, like a round shape, small round shape. Okay, less surface area, small, small patch, small surface area of application, lesser the amount of the drug absorbed into the skin. Here, rectangular patch I have taken, very big surface, big patch, larger the area of application, greater the total amount of the absorb. Next is time. Time. Here, see, both I have taken a rectangular patch, but here I have kept for a three days. Three days only. So less amount will be absorbed. Here I have kept one week. So greater amount of the drug will be entered because contact time is one week. Here contact time is three days. Next to physicochemical factors. See if the drug is hydrophilic in nature, it prefers the paracellular transport. See here paracellular. This is a transcellular through the nucleus through the cell wall, through the nucleus, through the membrane. Lipophilic drug molecules prefers the transcellular transport. Hydrophilic drug molecules prefers the paracellular transport because it is an aqueous filled force will be there. Next is drug molecular weight. 400 is a target that you have to keep in your mind. If drug molecular weight is less than 400, it is a suitable for transdermal drug delivery system. If it is a greater than 400, it is not at all suitable. You have to go for a tablet or like that only because it is very difficult to transport through the drug because the size is big, molecular weight is big. Okay, it is not easy. Next is sweating. Higher the sweating, see here, less sweating. Here, higher the sweating, see the sweat gland is enlarged. Porosity is more, higher the porosity. So automatically drug will be entered very fastly. It enhances the absorption. More sweating, more sweating. Here less sweating, less drug will be entered. Next is the temperature zones of our body. If you apply the patch here, high temperature zones. Temperature zone is high. So drug transport is also high because high temperature, higher the flow of a blood supply, okay? higher the kinetics of a drug molecules. And this is medium temperature zone, low temperature zone, very low temperature zone that you can be touch your body and you can be feel, you can be feel this, right? Okay. Next is uh, skin pH. Skin has a very wide range of pH of the skin like this. Acidic pH of the skin uh, remains, acidic drugs remains unionized. So it fast absorption will be there. Basic pH skin, Basic drugs remains unionized, fast absorption of the basic pH. So if your skin is basic, basic drugs absorb fast. If your skin is acidic, acidic drugs will absorb fast. And the biological factor that is related to the skin, skin type, healthy skin, very low absorption, slow absorption. Keep in your mind, my dear students here, most of the students are doing a wrong step. Healthy skin, stronger barrier will be there because your skin is very stronger, absorption is slow. Acid or alkali injury like this. Skin is injured. Loss of stratum corneum upper layer is gone due to the acid and all. It promotes the absorption. Next is psoriasis. Of defective stratum corneum. Easy penetration of the drug. Inflamed skin. See here inflammation, redness. Uh, five are there. Rubber, collar, dollar, everything. Inflamed skin. Altered keratization of the skin. Increased absorption. Okay. Altered kinetic. Okay. Very and thin becomes skin, uh, so sorry, your skin becomes very thick. What's cons like this? Skin become very thick. Here, decreased permeability to the drug. Next is uh, skin age, old age, wrinkled. Skin become very thick here. Here, younger skin, old age skin, permeation is very slow. The permeation is very slow. Way everything skin becomes very thick, wrinkled skin, not fresh skin. Blood flow. If higher the blood flow to the skin, it's like this. Skin blood flow is very high. Faster the absorption of the drug. Very easy to remember all these points. Okay. And decreased blood supply to the skin like this. Okay. Up slower the absorption from the patch. Next is regional skin sites like a palm. Very thick skin, foots, okay, foot, under the foot, very thick skin will be there. Slow absorption of the drug. Male testis, scrotum, okay, low density skin, faster the absorption of the drug. 
and uh, next is skin metabolism don't write this uh, uh, diagram in the examinations just i am for your idea drug may be metabolized here see here metabolized drug will be metabolized in this layer the skin also like steroids hormones testosterone progesterone so all these beta methosan all these are metabolized so very less amount of the drug will be entered into the skin next is absorption enhancers very important uh, drug will be entered very fast just like a here drug alone name itself indicate absorption enhancer here the drug alone is uh, entered very slowly just like a old indian trial here what happened drug plus enhancer both are present in the formulation drug will be moves just like a bullet speed see here how many drug molecules are going very fast here see very slow very less amount is there here okay enhancers are very important you, okay what you have to do there is a two types of enhancers chemical enhancers and physical methods this is methods this is the chemicals okay very part these are the methods these are the yeah. so these chemical agents you have to mix with the drug prepare the patch okay uh, these are the physical methods you apply plain transfer plain patch you can be prepared without any chemical enhancer but you apply the some techniques some methods like electrodes ultrasound sonoporosis iantoporosis you can be apply okay so that drug uh, penetration will be possible these are the methods these are the chemicals you can see here they reversibly damages alter, alters the nature of the stratum corneum lipoproteins cell wall structure all will be damaged temporarily okay so uh, it uh, thus it reduces the diffusion resistance enhances the absorption okay right here we are using a either electrode small current we are using or ultrasound we are using okay ultrasound uh, it enhances i will tell you these examples are very important you can see water sulfoxide pyrrolidine fatty acids okay azone especially alcohols and glycols essential oils like terpenes all these are the chemical enhancer very important you have to write in the examination all these are. i will tell you now iantoporosis sonoporosis see here this is called as a iantoporosis device here we are applying the current so here this is a drug transdermal patch we are keeping here one electrode is here another counter electrode will be here so there is a electric current passage will be there so more amount of the drug is entered here from drug will be transported inside the skin from one electrode to another electrode see here that's why more amount of the drug will be entered into the, into the blood circulation because in order to balance this electric field drug will be entered very fast okay this is called a very important you have to write in the examination presentations are very important than the knowledge then only you will get a distinction okay physical methods here sound we are using sound sound ultrasound frequency 20 hertz we are applying here the transdermal patch so due to this waves drug drug ions will be entered like this see here how fastly drug uh, will enters into the blood vessel this is called a physical method sono sound sono iano electrode electrodes like positive negative iantoporosis very easy to remember keep in your mind and this is my youtube channel formatrix for exam this is my mobile app formatrix for exam same you can be download it from the google play store and start reading